Hello there, I'm Kay Burley, reporting for Sky News. We have an important Sky News exclusive. We head now to Studio One at Sky Academy Skill Studios. Hello and welcome to Sky News. My name is Brandon Neal. And I'm Dominic D'Souza, reporting live from our London studios. Today's report will look into social networking, the impact it has on mental health of young people. Mental health issues have risen among young people at an alarming rate. One in three young people are experiencing mental health problems such as depression, anxiety, negative feelings or the ability to focus. It is thought that young people are becoming over-dependent on likes and shares in order to feel good about themselves. This ceiling can be classed as an addiction due to serotonin chemical released in the brain. However, some argue that we cannot blame social media for mental health issues due to other factors such as upbringing, school life and genetics. Let's head over to our social media experts, me and Rosie, for more. Social media has been described as more addictive than cigarettes and alcohol and is now so entrenched in the lives of young people. There are many guides with recommendations around using social media responsibly. In this programme, we will head over to our reporter Anissa, who will be speaking to young people on this issue. Finally, our reporter Hazel will be interviewing social media experts. Unfortunately, that's all from us. Let's head over to Anissa. Goodbye from us. Goodbye. 93% of BAME groups with mental health issues face discrimination from their own communities. Thank you, Dominic and Brandon. Hello, I'm Anissa Ghani, and today's topic is about stigma within the black, Asian and minority ethnic communities, also known as BAME communities. People from ethnic minority groups are more likely to be diagnosed with a mental health problem, yet less likely to take advantage of mental health services. In some BAME communities, mental health is often a, tab a taboo topic, dismissed and overlooked. Today, we have two young people, um, Jamila and Kemi, to talk about mental health in the BAME communities. Thank you guys for joining me. So how does religion inf influence m uh, mental health? Um, for some families, um, they may turn to religion for treating mental illnesses um, or other al alternative um, therapy. Um, however, this can be um, very traumatizing and may um, cause um, psychological effects. Um, this is often unquestioned within um, communities because of tradition and lack of education um, based on mental illnesses. Recent popular artists like Stormzy have spoken out about mental health in, the, in black communities. What are your thoughts on artists coming out with their mental health experiences? I think seeing popular black artists speak out about the effects of mental health has a really positive impact on young people who, are, who might be experiencing similar issues because they really look up to him as an influential figure. That's all we have time for today and now we're going over to Hazel. Thank you Brandon. Hello and welcome to Sky News. My name is Hazel. Today I'm going to be exploring the foundations of loneliness. The most common misconception people think about the issue is that it only affects the elderly, when in fact a recent report showed that young Londoners are twice as likely to be lonely as the national average. Joining me here today we have Stanley, who is an expert on the issue. Can you, tell, can you please tell us more about the matter? Yes, thank you Hazel. It is an issue that affects both people at all ages and backgrounds. Our strategy is to provide a powerful vision for addressing this generational challenge by bringing together health services, businesses and local authorities, we will raise awareness of the issue. Do you think that the rise in social media has had an impact on the loneliness of our youth? Yes, definitely. Our statistics show that when comparing generations of millennials and Gen Z, Gen Z are far more likely to suffer from issues of isolation and loneliness due to them being the most, uh, most accessible to the tools that cause this issue. And why do you think social media poses such a large threat? Is there anything we can do to stop this or is it completely out of our control? Firstly, it is such a large issue because people spend so much time talking online that people can, that people can become obsessed by, other, by others' lives instead of their own. And with people only seeing the good parts of someone else's life, it will make theirs feel inadequate in comparison. So from what I hear, this sounds like it's an unstoppable force. Unfortunately, social media evokes a drug-like reaction in the brains of its users, releasing dopamine each time a person uses it. These platforms are addictive and they have an incredibly strong hold over the youth today. Wow, this is all very enlightening and a very scary reality knowing that loneliness has become so popular amongst our youth, intensifying our existing fears of mental health issues. Hopefully support can be given to those who are struggling and if these issues affect you, please don't suffer in silence and contact one of the support numbers that can be found on our website. But for now, we hand over to Kay. 
Thanks to the team at Sky Academy Skills Studios, that's the end of our special report. I'm Kay Burley. Thank you for watching.